Welcome to Evening Prayers for today, Monday the 27th of September. In the last seven days we've been exploring the messages of our call, our hope and God's greatness, reading principally in the Psalms. We end this seven days returning simply to recognise and worship our God in a psalm from much later in the book. Let's be still. Our Celtic prayer today rejoices in what this day has brought. Lord, today has brought paths to discover, possibilities to choose, people to encounter, peace to possess, promises to fulfil, perplexities to ponder, power to strengthen, pointers to guide, pardon to accept, praises to sing, and a presence to proclaim. As the day ends, we wrap that presence around us. Amen. <clears throat> so our psalm for this evening, almost from the end of the book of Psalms, Psalm 148, a psalm of praise. <clears throat> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his heavenly hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He set them in place forever and ever and gave a decree that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do his bidding. You mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers on earth, young men and women, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendour is above the earth and the heavens. He has raised up for his people a horn, the praise of all his saints of Israel people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. This is simply a psalm of praise. Whether it's deliberate or not, its structure reflects the creation stories of Genesis in reciting the different orders of creation, but then adding not just human beings, but humans in our social structures, our hierarchies, and our stages of life. What is this praise thing that we do? God doesn't need to be told how great he is. God kind of knows that stuff. But any meaningful relationship builds on mutual respect, recognition and, yes, praise. For all that we recognise in God, all that we have experienced through our life of faith, all we have offered and had accepted, all we have received, in the end, it is all praise. God is so great. What shall we do to love and praise? i 
thou hast passed by me. My trespass was thrown up to heaven, but far above the skies, in Christ abundantly forgive, I see your mercy rise. The some time in advance so they can't always respond to events that are happening right at the moment in the world so please use the silences to include specific prayer needs in your own life or that you're aware of let's pray <clears throat> you might like to share the response lord have mercy christ have mercy Christ our Saviour, born for us, bring healing and peace to all people. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, baptised in the Jordan, give hope to all who come to you. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ tested in the desert, give courage to those who are tempted. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, who comforted and healed, bring wholeness to all who are broken. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, who hung in agony on the cross, bring strength to those who suffer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, who died to save us, give peace to all who face death. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, raised from the tomb, bring light and life to all the world. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, present among your disciples, unite all your people in love. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And as people united in love in Christ, we shall share together in the prayer that Jesus gave us. Please share in whatever language or form is the right one for you. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
final Celtic prayer is a kime prayer. In the kime, we invoke God's power and presence around us to protect and guard. The believer might say the prayer while physically circling round with a hand outstretched and the finger pointing. It's not magic. As David Adams says, it's a reminder that we are always surrounded by God. Let's pray. Circle of witnesses be wound. Circle of apostles all around. Circle of saints us surround. Circle of martyrs on this ground. Circle of God, love abound. Circle of Christ, foes confound. Circle of spirit, glory crowned. And a prayer from St Ignatius. O Christ Jesus, when all is darkness and we feel our weakness and helplessness, give us the sense of your presence, your love and your strength. Help us to have perfect trust in your protecting love and strengthening power, so that nothing may frighten or worry us. For living close to you, we shall see your hand, your purpose, your will, through all things. Amen. Thank you for sharing these times together through these last seven days. Wherever you are, whatever your faith, may the blessing of God, God beyond us, God alongside us and God within us, be with us all this night and always. Amen.